Welcome back to 16 by 9, the bigger picture. So Health Canada says keeping a distance from compact fluorescent bulbs will keep you safe from ultraviolet rays. But what about other things they tested for? Emissions and dirty power. They claim levels are safe, but 16 by 9 uncovers new research that sheds light on the safety of these bulbs. Here again is our Alison Bushnick. At this lab in Geneva, Switzerland, they say they're conducting the most extensive testing ever done on compact fluorescent light bulbs. They're measuring electromagnetic fields, or emissions that the bulbs give off. It's the emissions from the compact fluorescent light bulbs that some Canadians say are making them sick. Dr. Mark Douglas, who's actually Canadian, is part of the Swiss research team. We measured the fields in air without a person there, and then we measured the fields with a, a simulated person there. The Swiss government asked them to develop this new method after they felt the original method for testing was inconclusive. Instead of just measuring the CFL emissions in the air, they also measured what the emissions could do to the human body. And that's radically different, they say. If the currents flowing through the body are high enough, you have stimulation of nerves, muscles, um, which can be, in extreme cases, can be painful, can can you know, cause problems. This shows you the distribution of the electric field, and you can see that it changes once you put a person very close to these fields. We asked Dr. Magda Havis, an expert, about what the possible effects could be. Well, anything that stimulates your nerves is obviously going to affect your entire neurological system. Um, and the effects will vary from person to person depending on how sensitive they are to the stimulation. Some people can feel it. Some people become ill as soon as a compact fluorescent light bulb is turned on. And some people aren't sensitive to this and they can't feel anything. There are international limits set for electromagnetic emissions. So how did the bulbs stack up? The Swiss say they all passed, but some were very close to failing. In all cases that we looked at, the exposure was below the safety limit as defined in international standards. However, in, the, in some cases, the, um, the levels were not uh, extremely below the safety levels. So in other words, we can't say that intrinsically that these uh, light bulb sources would it would be um, below the safety limits. Yeah, you can see how you have here in the spinal core you have the highest current. Dr. Niels Kuster, director of the Swiss lab, says yes, that means they met international guidelines, but some not by much, so more needs to be done. Which gives an indication that they should actually be tested before marketing. In the end, after all their research, Swiss health officials have precautions for consumers. They think the electromagnetic fields could pose a health problem, so they want users to maintain a gap from the bulbs. But Health Canada, who also tested for electromagnetic emissions, says this should not be an issue of health concern. Not so, says Kuster. He says the test Health Canada used is inadequate. It uses the, the old technique as everybody used to measure the fields in air, which will never give you the final answer about the exposure. And Magda agrees. The Swiss study is showing that uh, you can't simply measure these light bulbs as though no one's uh, present because as you approach the light bulb, uh, the electric field actually couples onto your body and that needs to be part of the measuring protocol as well. We wanted to speak with Health Canada about their tests and results, but they refused to appear on camera. According to their report, CFL emissions are below Canada's and international limits, so do not pose a health hazard. The companies we contacted that manufacture the bulbs declined to be interviewed. In an email, their lighting association also says that their products are safe and do not pose a health hazard. We feel that this issue has been fully and comprehensively dealt with by Health Canada, with access to complete and proper testing processes. But Magda disagrees not with Health Canada's testing, but with the international standard they measure against. Our conclusions are that those levels are too high, and that's why people are becoming ill. That's why they're reacting to the compact fluorescent light bulbs. The other issue with CFLs is mercury. 
Each bulb contains a tiny amount to make the bulb work. When you want to throw them out, they can't go in your household garbage. Instead, must go to a special facility like this one for recycling. So the incandescent bulbs are being phased out. In 2012, Canadians will have to use something more energy efficient. And companies are spending millions to create more options. One of the areas of huge growth is in LEDs, light-emitting diodes. LEDs are able to convert electricity directly into light. Subi Al-Sayed is an engineer with a specialty in sustainability. Today, this light bulb here is a straightforward replacement to the old incandescent light bulb. And looking at the energy consumption of both, this one consumes 60 watts of electricity as opposed to 7 watts of electricity. So it's a very significant reduction in energy consumption. LED light bulbs are entering the marketplace. They are expensive, but can last up to 20 years and are way more efficient than CFLs and incandescents. And some people are having difficulty giving up old-fashioned incandescents. In the European Union, they are already phasing out incandescents, banning one bulb at a time. In September, the first bulb to go was the 100 watt, even though it was just one option. In Germany, that led to a rush to buy them and empty shelves with some shoppers stockpiling. The sales on our 100 watts, as you can see here, are pretty good. This is not uh, that we don't um, want to sell it to our customers. This is because of the manufacturers can't deliver them right now. Um, our sales are up up to 600% uh, on this special 100-watt uh, light bulb. So after all this, the massive push to use CFLs and conflicting messages from various governments, there are people who feel left in the dark about UV and electromagnetic emissions. Like anyone, you're disappointed. Because I think when a new product is put out on the market, it should be properly tested. I'd never have those bulbs again. I'm afraid of them. Still the